up your head, beat up your body Get on the bus, it's time to party It's Gregory, it is a Friday night Gregory Take your socks off and take your pants on Get in the car and drive Everybody, welcome to Friday Night Greg. Uh, my name's El Orlando. I'm going to be your host for the evening. With me, we have a special guest. You heard him last week. Uh, his name is Sam Evans. Welcome, Sam Evans. Uh, you missed the piece. Uh, what? The writers didn't write all this for you just to not care about the lines. Okay, sorry. Welcome, Sam. You got a problem, Evans. That's Sam. You got a problem. <laughs> you got a problem. You, you got, got a problem. problem. You got a problem. <laughs> that guy? You got a problem. <laughs> Is that how I'm saying it? I say it accusatorily. You got a problem. What you do with it, it's your gift. Okay. How you use it, you use it. I love being given a catchphrase. I'm sorry. I'll continue. Okay. And then with us as well, we have Greg... Mr. Sweet Spot. Mr. Sweet Spot. <laughs> Mr. Sweet Spot. That's the sweet spot. <laughs> Stone. You got a problem. <laughs> and that's the sweet spot. <laughs> I'm Greg Stone. I should have given you one. L. Um, She's going to do your own. Beat your face, Orlando. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. But if I came up with one, you'd be better because then you're forced to live with it. And it's because I want to do it. That's why. Because also, I don't know if you guys realize this. Yeah, it's Friday Night Greg. Yeah. But also, you both are on an episode to deal with it, because your boy is high out of his mind. <laughs> deal with deal it. Deal with it. You got to deal, deal with it. it. Are you familiar with deal with it? You've uh-uh. done deal with it. I don't know. If deal I with have. is my podcast within a podcast, where it's also an episode of where deal with it is where Greg gets real high, and then the host and guest they, they got to deal. You got to deal with it. <laughs> That's my sweet spot. How much? What gets you high? Marijuana. No, no, no. But like, <laughs> let's talk amounts. Can I? Can, yeah. Am I taking it off the rails if I no, tell No, let's do this. But I just want people to know that I Elle is hosting today and I wrote her very in strict instructions. She wrote, not yes. going to listen to. That there is. The writers wrote that stuff. The writers. Greg, the team. The writers. writers. Greg, did you write it? The team. <laughs> the team. Who's the team? <laughs> Me and Sweet Spot. <laughs> Cal- is it Calvin? <laughs> he got a lot in there. You got a problem. You got a problem. Uh, tell, tell me, what gets me high? Yeah. Like, I, I'm talking amounts. Oh, this much? So you're holding up a pretty fat joint. A, fat, a Jaybird, if you will. Yeah, a Jaybird. That's uh-huh. too much, honestly. You smoke that, like... Because, L, you get high as well. I get so high. Off of, like, two puffs of that. Two puffs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was you that smoke... brand new? I uh, Brand new. Oh, jeez. Do you smoke that whole thing? What, do you, what are we talking about? No, this will take me about a year and a half. Really? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you do, like, what? Two or three good puffs of that? Two or three good puffs, and also I set my mind to the right... You got to set your mind to the right tune. Will you turn your knobs? Got to turn the knobs. <laughs> Set phasers to fun. <laughs> Set phasers to fun. I like, to, I like to get a crazy song in my head and then get high. It's like an energy. And today's energy was, and look, people are going to judge. So people are going to judge. Okay. Fall Out Boy. Okay. Fall Out what Boy came What are you talking up. about? Fall Out Boy is amazing. Yeah. You don't know that for two reasons. What? You're a woman. Fuck. One. Okay. You're a woman. Cut Greg's mic. <laughs> um, we're gonna, that's all. That's all from Greg. Mr. Sweet Spot Stone. Um. Yeah, you got a problem. You got a problem. That's my sweet spot. <laughs> Sexism. That's L. I'm gonna beat your face. <laughs> I'm beat your face. Yeah, she gonna beat my face. Uh, not because you're a woman. That was a bit, that was a bit I was doing. Uh, oh, was you're young, and so the aged music is aged. Shut pro- the fuck. Listen to me. Listen to me. I was in the muck. I was in the streets when this came out. How old? Same. Were you, huh? I Listening. was in the streets. You were six. I was fucking ten. Six. I was ten. How old I are was you? 10. Do you mind if I ask? I'm 22. I That's not bad. See what's happening? Oh, shut the fuck up! Well, what do you want to do? <laughs> stop, stop trying to make us kiss. It's my, my friend and colleague. That's my sweet spot. <laughs> you got a problem. <laughs> you have. She's gonna be my the ass. biggest problem. Who? You, you and your dad. You guys are both. Dad, yeah. my dad into this? Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> you and your dad. The first thing. So I did a road gig with um, Andy last weekend. I meet Greg's dad. You need to explain Andy, that, dude. What do you mean? I am explaining it. You did a road gig. My dad was just there. Oh, well, everybody knows your dad is a, a fun guy, a former comedian, sometimes current. He would come out to a show. I did. I got in my mind. Your dad was just there. I, well, he did. You know, he hosted the event. My, it was a charity event. My sister helped. My sister did a charity event. OK. And so she we got comics this year. I couldn't do it. So I had Elle and Andy 
Fury do it. My dad hosts. That's fun. Yeah, and it was fun. It's fun. I'm gonna yell at you back. Did you kill? It was honestly, it was such a good set. I was like, I I don't know. It was really great. It was like whatever. Anyways, so Greg's dad, and uh, within like ten minutes of just talking to him, he's like, "Hey, Andy, are you single?" Oh, are you single? That's my dad. What are you guys doing? And I was like, no, no, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> He's like, what? Am I making you feel uncomfortable? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you are. That's We're my done. Dad. He loves it. <laughs> it's rough because it also comes from a, I can tell it comes from a very good place. Yeah. You're a loving person. You and, like the people around and, you. And, and if you're like, hey, are you unattached? <laughs> It'd be so great if you got together. <laughs> but that's as far as your thought process goes. And it's like, maybe, maybe we'll just hang out. <laughs> Maybe that will naturally happen, but if it naturally happens, I don't get credit. Oh, I see. And I'm this looking, I'm looking to stamp that. I'm looking for someone to get married, and when they wedding, like we couldn't have done it without Greg. Ah, uh, that's that's, that's who a nice introduced feeling. us, and so I just do it. It's kind of like uh, you know, you swipe left, swipe right. If I just force all my friends, yeah. No matter, eventually one of them will get together to kiss each but, other, and then I'll be at the wedding. Greg, yeah, the rate of divorce is uh-huh. so high. So then they're gonna get a divorce, and mm-hmm. they're gonna be like. We this was all because of Greg. Yeah, yeah. All at their at their divorce proceedings, they're gonna yeah. be like, "This is Greg's fault." This is yeah. Greg's fault. Yeah, you want to ruin people's lives. The divorce rate is high, but so am I. That's my, <laughs> that's my sweet spot. Do you have? <laughs> let me ask you this. Huh? I know none of this was on the docket. My apologies. You to the know, writer. there's a docket. Right? Oh, you got a problem. <laughs> that's my sweet spot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, now, do you know any couples currently that you can say that about? Like, if they were together, and you're like. I did it. This couldn't happen without Greg. <laughs> yes, I do. Tell they who? are happily married. Who? Tell, tell us. He's going to be listening to this, my man, T-Bone. I don't want to say Who's his full name because I don't T-Bone. know. He's my man I grew up with. He's not a comedian. Not everyone's a comedian. Some so people... he doesn't exist. T-Bone? Yeah. Is it Taco? He's... What? Is it Taco? No, not Taco. Oh, okay. I my man, a friend T-Bone. named Taco. Tom, my, my friend Tom. Oh, What's Tom. his first name? Is he real? Realer than you've ever been, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're pretty real, too. You both exist. <laughs> What? How do you rate someone's existence? Can I? One hundred percent. He one hundred percent exists. By how hot they are. He's pretty hot. Well, I haven't seen a picture. So and he's I- married. Is his, is his wife hot? Well, Wife's you introduced the hottest, them? and I introduced them. Introduced them big time. What'd you say? You got a kiss. I said, "You come here. <laughs> you you got me with this guy." And she went, "Wow." And I went, "You fucking know it." And then they got married. <laughs> and then you were like, "Not that day, though." That's my sweet spot. And I went, "That." It's <laughs> my sweet spot. That's my sweet spot. That's wow. Can I tell you something? Yeah, Between, I nailed it. They're still together like a hundred years. It's definitely not a hundred years. How, how long have they been together? How old are they? Two hundred and thirteen. <laughs> They're elves. Can I tell you, be- between you you coming in hot and saying, I'm high out of my mind, and yeah. elves' glasses, I feel like I have never been the more sober person in the room. You totally are. And you, everyone changes when they put the gla- these glasses on. They will make change. you pretty mellow. Yeah, right. Yeah. I Can I tell you something? Right. I am going to go online. I will not get that exact pair. Okay. I am going to get a pair like that. Okay. Oh. I'll get different right. colors. Mm-hmm. I'll get different lenses. My bad. You got to yes and it. If I drop your glasses, you step on them. <laughs> Yes, and put them on though. They will change your. They'll change you. He's never going to take them off. Oh, no, yeah, you're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, good morning, Mr. Erickson. <laughs> yeah, this is who I am now. Yeah, yeah. Is that slithery a Mexican snake. Accent? Huh? Is that a Mexican accent? You're fucking racist. Dude. <laughs> you're fucking uh, racist. What? Honestly, it could have been any number of accents. Yeah. Can we get back to the docket? Oh, I, back on. sorry. I was going to ask about. <laughs> I was going to ask about something. All right. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but a video of Greg's went viral. Greg. All oh, right, that's on the docket. Greg. Yeah. I hate, how I hate how the writer's docket is and just let me, thinly veiled plugs for you to talk about shit. Let me tell you, I am forced to say this. How many <laughs> views did it get, Greg? Well, I don't know off the top of my head, but four point seven million. That's not true. You want to Google it, you dumb dog? Okay. Jesus. What? Is that on that's TikTok? That's the rapport <laughs> is we that, have. Is that on TikTok? TikTok? Yes. What video is it? Is it the, the I hate the Jews lady? I hate the Jews, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really Why not? You put a finger out, I grab it, E.T. style. Oh, man, if I could have farted just then, that would be great. Damn it. Yeah, what, dog? He's not lying. 4.7 so four... million! Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do, a soft, <laughs> let's do a soft golf clap for Greg's virality. Ready, y'all? Here we go. <laughs> Dude, hmm? one million likes? That's great. 
That's great. Nice job, Doug. Hey, yeah. that's pretty great, huh? How is that? How is Should your feet more? Cool, you're so. Honestly. What were you supposed to say? I wish it was less. No, you're. So, you have to say. You. I wrote your notes, L. I'm. What I was about to say. Read what it says. <laughs> okay. Also, you didn't hold for applause. Big opening. Wait, I did. We did. We we did an applause for your virality right there. Oh no! Before that, whatever the number of views say, oof, should be more. Okay. You're the king of viral. You say <laughs> hashtag viral great. Okay, don't make her do that. <laughs> should be more. Should You're the be king more. of viral. Wow. Which one of the writers came up with that? I would say the dor dorky one. The dorky white one who always tries to do black voice and we yell at him. Do you it's have any black you? writers? Oh, it's the guy. He's there. He's in my mind. <laughs> He's in, my, he's in my mind. He's at the table. He's, at the, he's got glasses on. He's like, remember, like, dude, that voice. Ease up. <laughs> he's up and he goes, ease up, ease up, ease up down the road. We go, stop it. <laughs> stop. You're like, my bad, man. <laughs> you're like, you're still doing it. Harvard doesn't get you those kind of talks. You know what I mean? What's that, What's up, Bill? Say what? Um, Nothing. Gonna have high, high, high for a living. <laughs> anyway, oh, you're the host. Is it going all right? You know what? It's going. Oh, I wanted to tell you about my viral video. Oh, tell. Jesus Christ. It went viral. Yeah. Pretty big. What was it about? These Jews. Just the, of course it was about the Don't Jews. Don't say these. The Jews no, made you viral. It was a woman said, fuck the Jews in the middle of my set. You all saw it. Well, t t explain. All right. That's what, what I want to tell you about is something else. I've been fighting anti-Semitic people. You do a video, anything that says Jews. Oh, are they showing up they, in the comments? They come out. All right, now I'm going to say, mm -hmm. just in, I'm assuming that everybody's seen it, but if they haven't, what it is, is you have a bit where you talk about, uh, was anybody here raised in a religion that they abandoned as yes. they grew up? That's the opening for you to talk about uh, a good chunk of religious a material. A good chunk. A good chunk. Sorry. Yep. And then a woman in the audience that you caught on tape, she, yeah. ju she just goes, and this is a woman who it turns out was raised Jewish and is no longer a practicing right. Jew, said- Fuck the Jews. And you had a very funny bit of crowd work where you were just like, hey, man, mm -hmm. you can't just fucking say that. Just... That sounds crazy and hateful. And it's I didn't very say funny. hateful. But it does sound crazy sure. and hateful. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't say that. Sure. But anyways, <laughs> you are riffing on that woman. Yeah, but what yeah, you're yeah. saying is that the comments of this viral video, yes. because it went so viral, unfortunately, you probably did get a lot of actual anti-Semites who were like, yeah, fuck the Jews. And you had to be like, hey, dog. I would just go delete. Delete, nice. delete. Very good. I just delete them because it's like, that's not what my page is about. Yeah, of course. We're doing vibes. But you know, that's why mm -hmm. you got so much like views because the more people that comment on your video, the more it gets boosts. So all those anti Semitic people God help bless you. Them. Yeah. <laughs> God bless them. Get to a mil or 4.8 mil. But it's yeah, going to delete it. This mm -hmm. guy, one guy goes, but if it was, he, Real funny how this guy was going to do a joke about religion, but then the Jews he won't do as if because he doesn't. People don't seem to understand the difference between like making fun of religion and make, and just saying fuck the Jews. Yeah, people yeah. don't get it. it's like if she said fuck Judaism, I'd be like, okay, that's ideas. Sure, fine, you can fuck with ideas. Sure, but she said fuck the Jews, fuck yeah. the people, which is like hilarious. You know, like that's a wild thing. So I'm arguing with this one guy, and then he goes, then it all comes out. He goes, I know why. He goes, I know why you won't because you know who your masters are. And I went, oh, this guy thinks the Jews run Hollywood. <laughs> and I went, yeah, yeah. this is a Jew. You, you, oh, it's a Jew's Hollywood, that? And the guy was like, J I'm just saying what it is. And I was like, oh, I thought I was talking to like a normal, a normal guy who didn't get it. Yeah. You think the Jews run Hollywood. I was like, oh, so now it's fun, you know? Yeah. And then he wrote back uh, something along the lines of like, uh, you're just doing crowd work and it's not, you're not even good at it. He said, I'm not good at crowd work. And I went, I love that. It's hilarious. I love that. I got a million likes. Yeah. One million likes. I'm not wow. an arrogant man. I'm not an arrogant man. But that's a number. Yeah. That's a number. That's not out of the world. That is of the people who watched it. A million. And this guy looks at it and goes, nah, they don't know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm one guy and I know. Well, and it's also like, that's just such a, so emblematic of like the culture of like, putting a comedy online where somebody goes, it's not even that good. And it's like, okay, fucking you do it. Right. Yeah. You do even an ounce of this. Right. Yeah. yeah. Somebody else, fuck the Jews, middle of your spot at the cellar. Yeah. What, what, what do you do? How do you handle it? What do I do? Not you. I'm just saying like a normal person. I go, get this <laughs> son of a bitch out of here. <laughs> that's right. That's my crap. A lot of people just kept saying I was dumb for like not liking the, like, because that's a joke. And I'm like, if that's not a joke. Like yeah, do, it, it, dumb for that. No, you have to address it in the moment in a funny manner. Otherwise, it gets weird fast. So I thought I was pretty good 
It was good. I thought it was a pretty good viral video. <laughs> Is this just us so comforting it, you on trolls that you have? Yeah. In conclusion. Yeah. Greg. Say your catchphrase. Obama's back. <laughs> no. What was my catchphrase? That's my sweet spot. That's oh, my yeah. sweet spot. When Obama is coming back, I heard. What? You got a problem <laughs> to this podcast. <laughs> I've, I've secured Obama on this podcast. Wow. That's yeah. impressive. It's not bad. It's not crazy. Has Obama been on this podcast before? A few times, but usually the episode deletes because Max doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Max. Jesus Christ. That's so annoying. <laughs> Greg, um. A potato. What was that? <laughs> was that part of your. I just got this thing now. It just makes loud noises. He just has a soundboard app on his phone. That says potato? It says... A potato. <laughs> a potato. And you can make your own. I made some. Y'all, it's crazy. You just say that after someone says something crazy. <laughs> Y'all, it's crazy. The train's in the back. It sounds like you're walking up the stairs. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's... No, no, no. Girl. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I've derailed your podcast. Here, uh, the second the second uh, topic on the list that the writers wrote for me. The writers. Um, the writers. Um, Greg, what was your worst kiss? Mine? Yeah. Probably you. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I love this kid. That wasn't the bit. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just got to kiss on the record. I've never kissed Elle. And she's never and and I've never forced myself upon her. Jesus, no. how, how do I correct this? L? I don't know. I feel <laughs> I feel sick. Um, oh, really? No. I mean, it was a fine. joke, but sick. I don't. I mean, sick. It would just be gross. It was just a response. Yeah, and I feel gross. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I mean, I guess. I mean, if my like, joke hurt you. Your joke hurt me. It more. would be like if your uncle, like talking about kissing your uncle, like. That would just be weird. I don't want to. Nobody wants to kiss. All right. But you said was my worst kiss. And I did a fling back. And I just said, fling back you. And then you said, you're like a big pile of dead meat. <laughs> That's what I heard. What did you hear? Is this awkward? Uh, you're, you're getting weird. It's, it's, been, it's been more awkward <laughs> on this show. I'll tell you that. How about That's my you and spot. Sam kiss? I'll How kiss about Sam. that? I'll kiss Sam right now. Yeah. You guys should fuck and make out. Fuck. I'm yeah. not cheating on my wife Fine. for a bit. Fine. You you're guys dumb kiss. bit. Every single time I'm on this podcast, you, you, yeah. I'm going to force you and pressure you into kissing I'll everyone else on this podcast. I'll do anything for anything. <laughs> Why won't you get through that through your head? All right? For a laugh, I'll throw myself at that goddamn window. Do it. All right. <laughs> well, it was great knowing you guys. <laughs> then he died. It probably wouldn't kill you. Um. So what else? What did say? My worst kiss? What was your worst kiss? Uh, it say was a L. girl named... Uh, no, I'm not going to say L. Um... <laughs> It was a girl named... Uh, also, never happened, for the record. Yeah, never what? happened. Hell's a friend and a colleague. That's what I believe. That's what I thought. Friend. <laughs> uh, I'm sweating. Everyone is sweating. Um, I'm not... I'm, I'm fine. I'm yeah. so sweaty. Uh, <laughs> like, my worst kiss was a girl named Gina, and I do still... I'm still friends with her on social media. Lovely girl, but just bad. You ever had bad kissing chemistry with somebody? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's rough. It's... It's rough. What's bad kissing chemistry? You just, you have a way of kissing and then they have a way of kissing. And as soon as it starts, you're like, this is too different. Is it? Okay. It's like trying to use an outlet in Europe, you know? But no, hold on. Hold on. Is it the chemistry is off or they're bad at kissing and you're good at kissing? Clearly, I think it was they were bad at kissing, but I don't want to be mean. No, Uh, that's just honesty. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Do not speak, Greg. I don't want you to talk right now. So keep going. (laughs) <laughs> wow i can i say this that's the that's the most firmly anybody every time you set someone up to fail with the host role that's the most firmly someone has ever been like no greg stop i'm the host that was pretty impressive i mean yeah i'm gonna listen to that. yeah i mean i let her you give a little bit of power you know like goddamn fanos absolute the power point. corrupts absolutely yeah Jesus greg Christ. looks so upset it was fu- he was I just was shocked just, he's like wow i guess i'm just looking at my <laughs> Am I bleeding? <laughs> this was a white shirt when I came in. <laughs> uh. I feel like, okay, if you're a good kisser, you can pretty much watch any romantic comedy and a makeout scene, right? And it's like, that's how you kiss, right? It's pretty easy to tell. But there was a lot of like, it's like, you ever kiss somebody and the mouth opening is like, 
and then there's like tongue interjected sharply. Yeah, you stick oh my your God, fingers. This is yes, like you know what I mean. Tongue. The tongue is like that. Yeah. You that's stick not your fingers in, and you rip it open. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I try. Because you have to commit to like you know it's like an open, and then your tongue is just kind of dan. It's part of it, right? But if you're doing like, oh God, it's like what that. The fuck yeah. Who the fuck did you learn that from? I didn't. I didn't learn it from no, anyone. No, oh no, yeah, that but person. Like, Anyone like when I when I'm 28 years old. Also, I was lying. I'm 28 <laughs> years old, and if I kiss a guy and you're bad at making out, like, dude, you've been on this earth for far too long. Like, you now gotta- your boyfriends are 13. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's my sweetest boy. <laughs> you got a problem. <laughs> so yeah, you've been on this earth a long time. A long time. What is like you guys have? Well, you know, I think I think it's a bigger issue with men because. Men are entitled. They don't really care. Oh, and women will it. never say. <laughs> no, it is yeah. true. Sure. When women will never tell you. Like, yeah, men will just go for it. So will men like Evan and I. This Evan, Sam Evans. Yeah, my we're, name is Sam. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're cowards. We're like you. We might not tell you. We'll just do it. We'll go along for the ride, right? I. Always- She's just trying to say women do one thing and men do are the worst. I did tell a guy he was really bad at kissing, and that's why I couldn't hook up with him anymore. How did he take the news? Um, it's a learnable skill. He tried. I mean, did you try to give him pointers? I tried. Okay, that's okay. Good so his issue was that I don't know if his so his tongue felt like there was a fish going in my mouth every single time because it was way too wet again and way too big, way too and it was like choking me, and I'm like. How big is your fucking tongue, dude? Oh, wow. And I I've tried- also never looked at a fish and went, this is way too wet. This fish <laughs> is just way too wet. This is way too wet. It gets so wet. I mean, he's in there. He's six feet in there. So maybe it's like an excess of saliva is a problem there. And guys do, some guys have an excess of saliva. So I think that's a little bit of the issue. Okay. But, and, you know, he he was pretty cool about it. He's like, all right, well, I guess, you know, we just aren't compatible. And then a year later- he he was like, oh, because I was attracted to him in every other way. Ex- Except for that. And I just can't. And you That's can't rough. get past the That's kiss. rough. Yeah. And we, mm. I tried to make out with him a year later. And I was like, no, dude. Still, Still no. bad. A year of practice. Yeah. I'd have been at the gym. You know what <laughs> That's I mean? True. I'd have been doing moves. Yeah. yeah. You should have been like, you got a year. <laughs> yeah. In one year, I'm re-auditioning for Ugly L Orlando. This is my big break. You know what I mean? Ugly L Orlando. That doesn't exist. I know. I'm just kidding. But I was trying to be mean because my feelings are hurt. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do well, this. I want to tell my kiss story. Well, go ahead. Wait. Oh, you got a kiss story? <laughs> yeah. I oh, this was all okay. just to leave into. All well, because right. I didn't want to go first. I Hold said, on. we'll get Sam going, then we'll get her going. Let's okay, my kiss story was a, a, a woman named Gina. Wonderful woman. Really nice. I like her a lot. Just, in my opinion, not the best kisser in the world. That's my story. Okay. That's the good. next segment. What the <laughs> what? Do my thing. Fucking L came in ready. L <laughs> came in ready today. Fired. Fired. No, <laughs> no, Greg, 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 please you're tell fi- me. You're fired from the podcast. <laughs> tell I'm me a, your. Tell me your. Fired from eye contact. Tell me your bad. <laughs> huh? um, tell me your bad kiss story. Well, I wanted to say, don't you guys go in? I go in like a sail, right? Whichever way the wind is going, I'll go that way. Oh yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. Be open. To... But then sometimes you kiss, and there you, you didn't know when there either. Then you must become the wind. I agree go. with that. Are you? I'll be the I wind. Agree with that. We'll go left. We'll go right. We'll <laughs> yeah. go up. We'll go down. Yeah. Follow my lead. Cha cha cha. That's how I kiss too. I go tongue tongue tongue. Cha cha cha. And I say cha cha. I actually do agree with your philosophy here, though. Yes. It's like go in, see if you will be blown around. Mm-hmm. But yep. if not, you direct it. I'll direct. Yeah. You know what I mean? I or like I'll go in and I'll even start directing. But if she like she wants to direct, you direct today's yeah. episode. Hey, you know I'm, all, I mean? I'm all in favor of female directors. Yeah, that's what I say. And I'm. Let me tell you what I do, and this is a big thing of in your relationship for a long time. You kiss. What happens? You start kissing, and then you, it just becomes a thing, mm-hmm. and then you have to retrain yourself to feel the kiss. Mm. So when I try to kiss people, I always try to I don't, people. I mean my wife, uh, <laughs> because I learned this after I was married. So I kiss her and I go, "Be in this moment, you know, like feel the lips. It's good. It is good that way." I don't ever do that when I kiss men, though. That's, that's what you thing. say. You go be in this moment, feel the so, lips. Yes, that's what I say. It's good. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> After you get done kissing, you go, this is good. Yeah, I also do a thing. We do this sometimes where we make out, but we go, no sex is allowed. I understand that as a device. Yeah. It's a fun device. It intensifies it. It intensifies it. It's not allowed. I put money on a table and I go, whoever tries to have sex first has got to get the money. I put 100 grand on the table. You put a hundred grand on the table. Grand on the table, and I said, "You." And she always tries to fuck me first, so I always get that money. I'm like six hundred grand up. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm Get a, like, that money, good, Greg. I'm a good lover to my wife. You're a sexual being. I'm a very sexual being. Next very subject. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but worst kiss, I'll just say real quick, with some girl who worked at Hooters. And uh, she was she a waitress at Hooters? Yeah, yeah. You made out with a Hooters waitress? Two, three, oh, three. Okay. Slut. Well, my Psh, Friday used to be across the street from a uh, Hooters, so we would all pass each other around like a bunch of. Like, and you'd be like, "I'll have you know, I work at the worst TGI Fridays in America." And they were like, "That's cool." <laughs> they went, this is the worst Hooters. <laughs> the fuck! I'll suck my Randy Dick, you old dog. And it's, you were you were you were like, "I'm looking at the best Hooters" or something like that. <laughs> well. Oh, oh, that's it. That's that's the thing on the podcast, guys. That was too across the line. My light tit joke. Oh yeah, I'm a piece of shit. They did look like pancakes when they came out the fryer. Jesus, that's the girl. That's her problem. It's, also, she tasted like cigarettes, and so it was so like and I heavy in smoke, cigarettes. Yeah. And I go, ah, oh, this yeah. is not fun. They probably me. smoke heavy on a shift at Hooters. Yeah. Oh, heavy, and they eat a lot of frying, wi- a lot of wings. Sure, you know you're yeah you're just swimming in ring. Wing. So you're you're kissing this broad, and she's got wing and cigarette breath. That's rough. Ew. <laughs> yeah, and she's got ranch dressing in her pocket for later. Yeah, because she has to. Usually, customers ask for it. Tastes like a Virginia Slim and a garlic parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Let me make sure Elle's still on target. Oh, I am. Has anyone been to St. Louis? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just there last week. Oh, that's so crazy. <laughs> I tell you something. This is, the, this is the dumbest written like prompts <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Apropos of nothing. <laughs> so <laughs> you're like, follow the script. You were like, oh, well, it's so well written. But the script's there. The things. These are great topics. St. Let's Louis see, is a very good topic. Greg obviously. will get into a killer story, and you should remain silent till a laugh <laughs> culminates, and then stand and say, "Now that's the Stone Zone." You didn't say that after I did my story. There was no laugh. I thought you were about to tell one about St. Oh, Louis. Oh, that's for the St. Louis story. Silence until a laugh. Did you just like not be mean? Man? Hey, has anyone recently <laughs> been to St. Louis? <laughs> what? Yeah, she's a shock jock. Look at those glasses. It's goddamn Howard Stern over yeah. here. <laughs> that's <laughs> L. Imus, if I've ever seen it. Yeah. What are you saying? Has anyone here been to St. Louis? I was in St. Louis this weekend. And this I wanted to take. No, actually, I need you guys to talk because this is more of a conversational piece. No, we're, we had strict instructions. We have to be silent. <laughs> and old, those were L's, those were L's <laughs> instructions. Okay, Yours I is I'll be affable. Talk. Okay, okay. <laughs> L, L, I'm sorry. Start over the segment. You okay. go. Be affable. Okay, ready? Uh huh. Has anyone been to St. Louis? Sam, you can t- go first. Um, <laughs> not. I was there some years ago. Nothing really that interesting happened. I haven't been there that recently. Okay, let yeah. me tell my story. Um, <laughs> like a, you're like a mean NPR. <laughs> like. hello, hello, everybody. I want to welcome to the worst enemy, Fat Greg. Bishop. I kind of, I kind of like L being like a little trickster and more mischievous. Are you hitting you on know? her? No, I'm saying this is a fun element because I have strict instructions for both of you for me to stop with the sexual stuff. No, I'm saying that she's doing a good job hosting by and I won't. I'll keep doing it, <laughs> even though both of you have both said please. Stop <laughs> multiple times, calls and texts, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, everything. Yeah. Every time Greg is like, Okay, I'm sorry, I'm I'm done. He will do something, he'll be like, Okay, but hear me out. What if I put your face and Sam's face fucking on a face app? A face app, yeah, yeah. Listen, but she did that with a lot of people, and none of them were good ideas, <laughs> yeah. Sink or swim. People, people don't like that. What no. she said, it, I, the app doesn't let you even do it. I, <laughs> I, bet, I put Reface, I and I went, I'm going to get my friends. I'm going to fuck Anthony on the Reface app. It's going to be hilarious. You told me that. I Reface app went, yeah, no, we don't do that here. This is not what you're here for. Sorry you already paid for the premium, but this is we're not giving this to you. Um, Yeah, I have something to say. I didn't I didn't tell my story about St. Louis. And here we go again. <laughs> I Honestly, mm-hmm. I have a good story. Can't it's wait. great. Al, I can't it's wait to hear long, It's a little long, so. Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody kill me. Listen, so it was like, what, 13 years ago. I hope you, I hope you die at the end. <laughs> I can't remember. Was it like St. Louis or um, or Kansas? Kansas City? I think it was Kansas City. Are you, are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> so Kansas <There's>, the- <laughs> or St. Louis. Here we go. <laughs> I think it's uh, Kansas. <laughs> How long, long have the- we been doing this podcast? <laughs> okay, this is the whatever, last episode. Whatever, Greg. No, what the you. fuck do you Do you want? really have a St. Louis story? No, Greg, I don't have a St. Louis story. I do. That's why it was in the docket. 
And that's why you were supposed to set me up for it. Honestly, it's kind of funny. To, <laughs> it is funny. I'm having a good time. I'm setting you up now, I'm Greg. Taking That's how bad it's going. No, it's Claritin. I Your moment's <laughs> right here. Are you focused? Yeah, I'm focused. I'm always focused. Have you been to St. Louis? <laughs> yeah, I was there last weekend. And I had a great time. Well, tell me about it. Well, I'll tell you this real quick. The Sunday show was all Friday Night Greg fans. No, I swear to God. The Sunday show was all Friday Night Greg it's fans? 30 people. That I was like, this one guy goes, you're a legend, which I thought was hilarious. Because I'm not, but I'm. I like the thing I am. But I know I'm. You know I'm like I'm a legend. You're a legend to them. And that guy goes, "You did this. This guy's real sweet." And I go, "What? Get out of here! You know who I am." And some guy goes, "Yeah, I know who you are." And I go, "People, who here knows who I am?" And the whole cloud, they 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 clapped. And I went, "That's crazy." You about you Friday, almost you almost said they stood up. And I was then gonna you say, change your mind because this is a real. This really happened. And if I had made it more, then you'd know. I understand. I'm lying. I understand. But this really happened. I couldn't believe it. That's great. Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Not a single person knew who I was. But Sunday but night. Sunday. I'm a Sunday people. That's great, man. Wild. And then I want to tell you this. And this is the story that really is what I want to get into here because I need questions to ask. You don't have to be quiet the whole time. I was, the DACA is a lie. I'm just listening to you. Oh, oh it's weird because you've been interrupting me the whole episode. <laughs> weird that you just stopped all of a sudden. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I got very high after this one show. Yes. And we were doing the devil's deal, right? You know the devil's deal where you go, what would you rather, do this or this? Mm. I am high out of my mind. And I need you to tell me if I overreacted. <laughs> <laughs> so I go to this one of the guys, it's like a comedian door guy, and, and we're all asking. And I go like, all right, here's the devil's deal. You can rape someone every day and no one Good knows. <laughs> no, exactly. listen, listen. Exactly. <laughs> no, stop, right. listen. Not you can, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 Linda, Linda, listen. You have to rape someone every day, and no one will ever know. Or you get raped every day, and no one knows, and everyone knows. So you can, you have to rape someone, one person a day, and no one will ever know. You'll never get in trouble for it. Or you get raped once a day, and everyone knows. So you have to pick one. You can play around with it if you want. Um, I don't know if you guys want to. Well, I'll just no. I don't think either of us wants to play right now. <laughs> I love really? how you're like. I, well, however, you want to play around with rape, like whatever. <laughs> well, it's a very, it's a very good question, in my opinion. It's a okay. good question. It's the edge. It's the cutting edge of the devil's deal. Now tell the bleeding us, edge. Okay. Now tell so, us what happened. So I asked the guy next to me, and I'm like, "What do you go?" The guy goes, "Well, I'd rather get raped every day. I'm getting raped, knowing that in the other option was." People would get raped. He's like, of course, I would take the rape. It sucks. But Anthony even said it best. He goes, yeah, I don't even like flossing. So I'll just do that every day. You know, like, then I was like, great. And I asked the one guy and he goes, you guys are fucking lying. I would rape. He goes, I would rape. You guys are lying. You want to deal with being raped every day? And I went, oh, man. I looked at him very seriously and I went, oh, man, you're a bad person. And he was like, no, you're just a liar. I'm like, no, nah, man, like, you're like a sociopath. And you saying this is you justifying being a bad person and i went i gotta go and i left <laughs> i left with the other guy and i was very high were you joking i was very high <laughs> very serious oh my god i asked greg. him the question greg, this, greg. Guy. greg. <laughs> this guy you Dude, probably uh, i fucking i can't believe can't well. take greg what? anywhere I don't, where why is that bad because <laughs> i'm high you again thought... now and oh what? Tell me. Speak to you. Yeah, it's just like I, you asked the question, and he didn't know there was a wrong answer. Like, does is <laughs> that's true? Yeah. Does the yeah. devil have a wrong answer? I feel like they're both bad. You know, they're both bad. Yeah, you kind of just made someone feel bad. Made him feel real bad. Just because he wants to rape someone every day. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a good guy. I said this guy's, guy. and the guy was like, "Hey, man!" Like someone was like, "Ah, oh, man, it's not that big of a deal." I was like, "No, you understand. This oh, guy God. is one devil's deal away from us being a serial raper." Wow. And then Anthony was wow. like, yes, the devil's deal isn't real. <laughs> like, oh, this yeah. isn't happening. But I was like, so like troubled by that response. But I also am like, yeah, I don't know. It is a question, I guess. Yeah. What do you think? You asked the question. Yeah, that's a good you're point. You're troubled by the response of a question you asked. And you're like, what would you rather? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Greg. So what? That was a bad move. Yeah, bad move. Just like judge him silently. Right. Judge him It's silently. also like. You can't be like, you can't be like, clearly there's a right answer because it's like, well, being raped every day sounds fucking horrific. Right, it is. Sounds like I'd rather kill myself than do any of these two but things. I think there's two types of people in the world. People who would choose themselves to be like, well, I'll be the rapist and people who would be the, the raped. Well, this sounds more like a riddle than it does a choice. Yeah. How is it a riddle? 
Because you're trying to, because it, it sounds like there's a right answer. And in riddles, there's a right answer. There's no right answer. There's just an answer that will make me not want to be your friend anymore. Okay, well then clearly okay. to a young yeah. aspiring yeah. comic, yes. there is a right answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and he didn't know it. And he <laughs> the Greg test. How old was this guy? I don't know, say twenty one. Oh, Greg, no, <laughs> this know. poor kid. He's younger than me. I don't know. He was. I bet he was like, I'm going to do the. You know what? I bet he was like. I bet he was like, I know what he's doing. He wants somebody to do the edgy answer. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to I'm gonna oh. be edgy, and I'm going to make Greg Stone laugh. And then he said it, and you were like, oh, no. <laughs> you ruined this kid's way. He's like, I'll oh, probably quit comedy. This wasn't the game. This was a real question. Yeah, yeah. What Ooh. happened? I feel like- I left, was- and then I got on a plane and never saw him again. You must have woken up like that day wanting some type of chaos. No, I wasn't. I just- <laughs> Was very high. Yeah. And I felt as though that answer showed me into his soul. And I went, I see this man's soul and it is tarnished. <laughs> and I need to run as fast as I can. Looking back, looking back, maybe it was an over exaggeration. Looking back. <laughs> I love that tone. Now that I think about it, I <laughs> maybe that wasn't that cool. Um. All right. Well. Shout out to Michael Anthony, the guy. He was the opener, and uh, this other kid, Zach. Uh, I can't think of his last name. Why don't you shout out the door guy whose life nice. you ruined? Because I don't want to. Because I feel bad. Uh, and I'll. <laughs> but like really that fun. door nice guy guys. can die in a ditch. Zach. <laughs> so. D B just check. Double D check. Double D check. D B Ali Ali D. What? No, I can, no one will. Know Greg's that, high. Um, anyway, yeah, I am high. It's my pocket. Do what the fuck I want. Shut the fuck up. Okay, whatever, man. <laughs> Wait, weren't we supposed to do a say something after that story? I we know, are going to we... do something. Okay, okay, literally, I don't know what it is. I'm just so bad at like transitions. I'm like, okay, guys, well, on to the next. <laughs> <laughs> what was your first kiss? You didn't say compliment Greg on his funny yet poignant story. Laugh, but uh, laugh for Sam, but laugh less. I That's didn't hear anything there. funny. It says laugh for Sam, but laugh less. I ignore you when you do those insults. <laughs> I ignore you now. That's where our relationship has become. I didn't even say my worst kiss. Oh, yeah. I did. You didn't want it. I, I did. The but... guy that you gave a year to get better. Yeah. And you didn't I, gave get... him, I gave him a whole year. Mm. Wow. Did you set it up like that? No, though? no. Like, I. But you did tell him that you didn't think he was a great kisser. And then it just, like, we just happened to, like, be hanging out, like, a year later in mm-hmm. the same place and then let me down a year later. Um, wow. It is disappointing. Are you not having a good time? No, I am having a good time. Look, I'm having such a great time. Can't you tell by Whatever. my voice? Okay, so what's next on the document? I want to... I'm actually... <laughs> really quick. I, are you not having a good time? <laughs> no, I think I'm having Greg's a great time. Not. Every five minutes, you're like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, having a, I'm actually having too good a time. Yeah. I feel as though... Um, I'm having a great time. Because I'm having such a good time, maybe I might be doing uh, taking away from your good time. No, I'm fine. And then I said, what are you going to do? Not be my friend anymore? I had a good day. I went to Governor's Island today. Hey, what? what really? What? Yeah. For what? I hang out okay. with uh, Comedy's Carmen Legala. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, go ahead. I love Carmen. No, do the look. Judge me. Go, I'm not judging you. Island is like... I love Carmen, and I love you, and that's not even a joke. Okay, good. You just go for and a wait, walk there? Happy. What do you do? You, you want to talk in the microphone, or you want to just be in the back hallway? I want to do whatever the fuck I want. No, there's I'm a the thing... Host. You take the ferry. There is a... <sighs> <laughs> that was a great sign. <laughs> I do love the fact that you, by the way. Very cool. Thank you. Very cool. I'm trending now. I got a new purse and it's what very purse? cute. I didn't bring it. I should have brought my From where did you get it? I got it from Instagram and it's super cute and super trendy. No one's gonna talk about the purse that Tita and I gave to her as a gift that was like three hundred dollars. You gave her. You these, told <gasps> you told me you not from to that tell lady? people. Oh really? Yeah, because you're like I don't want people to think that I'm grooming you. Oh right. And Greg I don't is like, I'm grooming <laughs> you. Well, that's why I made Tita give it to you. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I met a girl, this girl Lizard. Sure. She works. She's a designer, and so she gave me stuff for Tita. Uh huh. And there were two things that Tita was like, "Oh, this is for a twenty-eight year old. This isn't for a forty-year-old." So then you said Tita. Give it to L. And I said, give it to L because I, as a comedian, can't be like, yeah. here's a purse. Sure. What else would you like? You know, like, that's weird. Yeah. So I had T to give it to her. It's great. You know, you have to wander these things. As Where, you where'd, you, wander them. where'd you learn that trick from? Ghislaine Maxwell? You yeah. <laughs> Greg was standing there with the purse. He just handed it to T to to me. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. That's really funny. Because really, it was T to was giving to her anyway because T was like, you know, because we pulled it out. and that you know, is just laying back. Oh, that happened wow. on the podcast. <laughs> what? I think that happened on the podcast. What? It? No, it happened after the podcast. After. Sorry. But it so is it, true. If Yeah, if Tita was like, this is for a 28-year-old, it's like, okay, well, Al is 28. 
Right. 22. Um, 22. But like you get why I can't give. 28 is not old. You can't be self-conscious about that. Right. I'm not. But then when you're 29. <sighs> no, no, no. Give me that ice cream. Also. This is cookie dough. Do you want it? Try it. It's, you're going to love it. Okay. It's edible cookie dough. You're going to lose your mind right now. I'll be the judge of that. I've never really liked cookie dough. I didn't think. I don't know why. Isn't it so good? Who invented cookie dough? It's around the corner. I'll show you the place. Oh my god! Is it really that good? I feel like you're. It's baking. really good. Oh my god! Greg's a liar. I, sh- I swear to God, <laughs> if you were a rock, I would smash you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, you but you were somebody was saying something. Uh oh! I was gonna go to the next segment. Right. The uh, is this the fa- com- completely insane segment? Uh, it's Father Greg se- segment where uh, you confess all your sins to Father Greg. Yes, I play Father Greg. Okay, now I'm, well, I'm going to say as a disclaimer, this is the segment where there are written instructions that say L has to kiss me. And just as a <laughs> clarification, no, you don't. It says be open to kissing Sam. Okay. Not open to it. And then and I forgot. Uh, by the way, yeah. I'm, I'm going to be Father Greg. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of fun. All right. <laughs> Fine. You can be Father Greg. And you, yeah, you have to be open Good to kissing me. Improviser and knows how to change tracks even when they're dumb and supporting it. Destroys the script that was written for them. It's fine. I can go with it. It's I'm real, excited. Me too. All so, right. Do you Greg. understand how Father Greg works? Yeah. I'm Father Greg. <laughs> Wow, just threw him off his track so uh, hard. All right, you're Father Greg. <laughs> I'm Father Greg, and you got to confess your sins to all right, me. All right, all um, right. And you have to be open to kissing Sam. I'm open to kissing Sam. I don't really care. Are you? Is that all right? I don't have to kiss me. Yeah, you, you can have, kiss me. All right. You're open to kissing Greg. I swear to God, yeah. if you make me kiss Max, I'll kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill myself. <laughs> That's how this episode will end. I'll take this spoon and I'll shove it into my carotid. <laughs> And you'll watch me I don't me think bleed. you're strong enough, honestly. I'll be strong enough. <laughs> I'll be strong enough if you make me kiss me. The power of the ancients will possess me. Asians? Ancient. Oh. <laughs> the so power funny. of the Asians. That's like Tita's ancestors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> By my look like Chinese father. <laughs> He's dead. Wouldn't that be crazy if because you now have an Asian son, you just have super strength? <laughs> <laughs> the power of the Asians has possessed me. <laughs> Okay, okay. So here we go. What's uh, what's a sin you'd like to confess to Father Greg, which is me, Greg? <sighs> I mean, it's well, all right, I'll do one of my sins, right? Okay. Two days ago, I was in a bar, and I saw uh, a turtle, <laughs> and he had glasses. Oh God! What is the problem? <laughs> no, keep going, please. I saw a turtle, <laughs> and he had glasses. Okay. And I broke him. I said, "What's up, dumb nerd?" <laughs> and he went, "Oh, please." And I broke his glasses, and his mother came in. I fucked his mother right in front of him, oh. who is a turtle, and it is cheating. But my wife said it's fine if it's to disgrace, if it's just disgrace a turtle. Mm. I can fuck a turtle. Okay. Those are the rules of marriage. What is my penance, you bitch? <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Your penance is you have to uh, play that devil's game with someone, and if they say. That they would rather rape someone Mm -hmm. for all of eternity once a day. Mm -hmm. Uh, You have to say, looks like I just found my new best friend. (laughs) (laughs) So my penance is something I have to do off air. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. No, you have to, you have to, you have to call that kid. I guess, yeah. Or you could, you could call someone right now. You could do it. You could call that kid and say, hey. If you make me call Max right now, I'll fucking kill myself. I'm just kidding. I'm not calling that kid. Call that kid. I don't, oh, know, his tell, I don't even know his Tell me you're his best friend. I don't know his email. Call your opener and ask him for the number. No, they don't like it. Okay, well. What's my penance? Oh, you gave it to me. I'll I gave it. it to you. Do you want something right now? Um, could be or could not be. Pour your coffee on yourself. What the fuck, dude? You asked. Just pour I my gave. coffee on myself. Yeah, just don't do it, Greg. You don't. told me to do it. <laughs> you told me to do no, it. No, please don't. Do it. I like this shirt. <laughs> it's not worth a joke. I'm not good at comedy. There you go. You proved it. You proved it. I'm not good at comedy. If that I was good at easy. comedy, I would have dumped this thing on my head. If I was good at comedy, mm-hmm. if this podcast had more subscribers, I would have poured the thing on my head. But I didn't. 
and I'm a failure. And you made me a failure. You showed me my own failure. Greg, stop. <laughs> it's my podcast. I we uh, finally got to a really good point in this podcast. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, Sam, what's your, you what's your sin? Me? You don't have T-mail now? Yeah. Oh, I've been on T-mail. Yeah, since since day one. I call her El Presidente. Why? Because she's a, a little person? Nobody got that? Come on. A little person? I'm 5'4", dude. You're 5'4"? <laughs> I'm 5'4", dude. I'm six foot fucking 100, bro. <laughs> Nobody got my joke. I called her El Presidente. Nothing on that? That's, a, that's oh. a because I'm mad at you. Because you're mad at me? Yeah. Why? Because you're on her team. Yeah, but it's fun. It's I guess. I thought maybe we'll do a swap every now and again. We all team up on each other. We take turns. Sometimes me and El, hey, look at this fat piece of shit. Where? I don't see. Oh, right here. Oh, you're on. Me? <laughs> you've made me a fool. Oh, he's hurt. <laughs> I gave you the reins of the podcast and you've made me a fool. <laughs> Greg, I'm sorry. I'm, don't, don't be betrayed. I am <laughs> betrayed. Don't be betrayed. <laughs> don't be betrayed. You've betrayed me. You've betrayed me and you betrayed the agents and the agents are all good upon this. I keep on hearing agents. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does come out. Asian. I think I'm so high I get everybody else high. You feel high. I feel high to everyone. Everyone always thinks I'm high. I do always think you're high. Are you always high? Never. <laughs> you said you get high a lot. No. Well, when was I have like high um like phases where I'll smoke weed all day every day for like a week and then I won't smoke ever again for like the entire year. Wow. So uh, right now I'm no smoking phase. Wow. I'm just naturally this stupid. Um <laughs> um Sam, tell me your sins. Father Greg, your sins. Oh, Father Greg, forgive me no. for I've sinned. It's been. It's been. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> I can't, I can't leave it open. It's been. It's been one week since you sinned with me. <laughs> one week since I sinned with Greg. <laughs> Confessing my sins too, my Father Greg. <laughs> um, I sold a car. For more than it's worth no i sold a car to a kid for like three thousand dollars and he says great car best deal of your life he took it for a test drive he was like you're right this is the best car and i was like great sold and i forgot to tell him that when it's cold out Oof. the car struggles to start in the cold and i didn't tell him that because i sold it to him when it was warmer mm. i ripped this kid off damn the kid dead or something how old is, how old was the kid Young, I want to say early 20s. How old were you? You know what? Mid 20s. Kid that young, he needs struggle in his life. You know, he needs he needs a little he can't have a good car when yeah. you're in your when you're a young yeah. something year old like yeah. you need some struggle. Mm. You need to get into something and then get yourself out of something. That's how you learn. You you gave this guy a lesson. Okay. There you go. No penance for you. No penance. <laughs> <laughs> you revealed to me that I'm the worst comedian who's ever lived on the face of the earth, and his penance was to just go on. You guys are clearly fucking, and I'm very. Oh my about god, that. Greg. No, it's Greg. Greg. We're just well, banging. Penance, Mike. You would be banging if you weren't banging. One of you would be on my team. I'm gay, <laughs> Greg. My yeah, team. Hell's gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Being gay has nothing to do with not being on my team. <laughs> yeah, you hate. Why the are you gays? checking your phone? What? Why are you, you're the host. You can't check your phone. I'm checking my phone. Um, also, I want to say this. What? Well, I had some classics that I wrote down for you to read. What? Like some that? classic sins. Let me just read what I wrote here. Fun game. Hey, gang. <laughs> this is what she was supposed to do. It's time for a fun game. It's called Father Greg. I'm Father Greg. During this segment, you and the guests say, Dear Father Greg, which no one said, I have sinned. <laughs> Tell me your sins and I will grant you forgiveness through penance. You have to be open to kissing Sam. That was the case, just in case. Because uh, it could have been your penance. If you, oh, here's some classics. I one time stole a dog from a little boy, and when I got home, it died because I didn't know dogs couldn't eat poison. That would have been a great <laughs> sin. Well, what? Okay. All right. Keep going. What are the other ones? I drugged a congressman and told him if he didn't vote yes on Chapter 13, I would kill his family in front of him. Another great sin. What is Chapter 13? I don't know. I just made something up. Okay. Mm. I'm gay. I know that's NYC cool, but it's not Florida cool. And it's definitely not God cool. So, like, what's up? <laughs> that's like a good sin. We just both said we were gay and you got mad at us. Oh, you're right. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to read these anymore. Oh, and then my favorite was I stole candy from a diabetic. This is supposed to be L saying this. 
I stole candy from my diabetic and gave it to a guy I was dating. Ever hear of Evan Weirder Al Yankovic? His son? He's a freak in the sheets and dead in the head. Hashtag weird. I don't think anybody was paying attention to any of that. No, I spaced out. Um, I hate my life, and I hate you guys as my friends. Stop it. I'm not attracted yeah, attra- to you as a friend anymore. Yes, you are. I'm not attracted to you as a friend anymore. Yes, you are. You guys are besties. How long yeah, have you guys been him. friends? We were talking about this the other day. Greg was a hero of mine for many years. Before Shut up. He was, before he was my friend. No chance. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. I literally don't believe it. <laughs> Just kidding. I swear to God, <laughs> this is what was good about having an abusive dad. If I said anything like that, he would have just pop, pop at me. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, All right. And then we're friends now. How are how we doing on time, Max, real quick before I know anything? Oh, uh, we're 50 minutes in. 50. All right. So I got to go. How long does this go for? <laughs> what? Your energy is like. Um, I have one low of, energy. Someone has uh, three rounds of chemo. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have to go. All right. Do you even know what time it is? It's nine o'clock. I set an alarm. It just went off. Oh, okay. All right, I'll see you later then. We can end it. Well, well, we have the priest. We have to do the prayer. Oh shit! What's the prayer? I heard a fucking prayer, man. I. It's so long. All right. You're gonna pray, Greg? I thought you were atheist. No, Al, you're gonna pray. You're gonna. We're all gonna pray to Father Greg. Repeat after me, dear King Bear. Dear King Bear. Do you guys not want to do this? I've never Dear seen King Bear. This is fun. <laughs> I'm we're repeating it. Okay, you have to yeah. say it. Like you I fine, just said fine. it. Dear King Bear. Dear King Dear Bear. King, King, of Bear. King of the Crystal Mountains. King of the Crystal Mountains. Seer of all that is good and holy. Seer of all that is good and holy. Deliver us from the river of deceit and keep us from listing the lies of that damn shit beaver. Deliver us from the river of deceit and keep us from listening to the lies of that damn shithead beaver. You don't have to remember it else written down. <laughs> This is triggering. I can't. This is promised. What's it triggering? It's just <laughs> your religion. Of the I feel King like Bear? I'm in church right now. You okay. love God. <laughs> All right, Sam, you got to go. We'll say, hey, Sam, drop your social media. Guys, I'm at really Sam Evans on all social media and on Venmo. Yeah, just pay him. Pay me. Pay him. <laughs> and I'm really Sam Evans at gmail.com. If you want to type me a long email, send me some nudes. Oh, send yeah. him some nudes, man. Send him some nudes, you guys. Come on. Some new nudes. Send the man some nudes. Send him some fucking nudes, he might bro. Might even send one back. I'll Who send knows? you. I'll send Maybe. you one of his back. I'll do a tasteful nude back. Real? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, yeah. T- I'll send you like a butt pic. Not. Not. Let's no. swap. Here's. Here's it is. Really, Sam Evans. All social media. Really, Sam Evans at Gmail If you want to swap butt pics, I will do that with you. Oh. And I will report it on the podcast. I won't say your name, but I'll just. I'll tell Greg. Oh, I got butt pics. Nice. And yeah. you send. And also, let them know if I can see. Because I'm not allowed to get okay. any. Okay, I will get your permission before I, before I show Greg. Yeah, of course, don't show unless. Yeah, you need to put in the in the subject. You can show Greg. Hundred percent. But also, I have to ask him. Am I allowed to see? Am I allowed to see? Is that a divorce situation? What my butt? No, you got to ask Tita that. You don't ask Sam that. Yeah, right, you ask Tita. She's not on the podcast. Okay. Well. Okay, Sam has to go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> see you later, Sam. Bye, Sam. Bye, guys. Love you both. Yeah, and we're gonna storm right in. Um, you can. Can you stick around? Yeah. Hell for the Patreon. Yeah. But DeVito's coming up, right? I think so. DeVito's coming up. He should be coming up. All right. Well, but... I'm gonna I'm gonna come back up. All right, come back up. But I'll be quiet. Okay? All right, and then tell Max I'm sorry about that insult before. I don't want him to get mad at me. <laughs> he probably turned it off. Okay. Have a good set. Bye. Um, so we'll stick. Well, hey, let me close the episode out real okay, quick. Okay. Yeah, please. You're the host, but please. We're uh, first of all, everybody. Thank you so much for listen. If you had a good time today. Subscribe to that fucking Patreon. We have so many funny, great episodes up there. Old episodes of the Rad Dude Cast uh, that you cannot get for free. Uh, old Patreon episodes. Also Friday Night Greg, and we're about to have another episode here with Elle and I, and um, it it means a lot if you do that. Also follow Max Marcus, Max Marcus Comedy. Where do they follow you? They can follow me on Instagram at underscore L Orlando L spelled E double L E mm-hmm. and. Sorry. <laughs> um, on TikTok and you know, uh, Twitter and all that good stuff. Yeah, and I, I do want to say I love you. Thanks for hosting this. You do such a great job. You know, thanks, Greg. I really appreciate. Why do that. you? Oh, okay. I thought you sounded sarcastic. You were doing an accent. No, I was doing an accent. I appreciate it. All right, you mind sticking around for the Patreon? Yeah, let's do it. All I right. want to do a Southern accent for the whole time. The whole time. Uh, the whole time. All right, we'll see you guys there. Fuck your mothers. <laughs> Pick up your head, pick up your body, get 
know the bus, it's time to party, it's Gregory. It is a Saturday night, Gregory. Take your socks off and take your pants off.